COVID-19 doesn't usually affect the heart, but in older hospitalized patients who have a pretty severe pulmonary involvement, they can also get signs of cardiac damage. Sometimes that's asymptomatic with an increase in blood markers of injury like a troponin, and sometimes it's symptomatic with chest pain, trouble breathing, or even arrhythmias. And that's because the disease has only existed for a year. We need large cohorts to be studied for longer periods of time to know whether, for example, young athletes have a higher risk of arrhythmias. We don't know that yet. Or whether um, in the long run of one, two, or three years, people who recovered from hospitalization with COVID have any long-term cardiovascular symptoms. Those are really important questions. We're looking forward to getting the answers from future studies. Most people do not have myocarditis. If you're one of the people who do have imaging or clinical evidence of myocarditis, it's really important to be cared for by a medical professional team that understands the disease and, and particularly SARS-CoV-2. And um, the overall likelihood of recovery is really good in most people. Everyone, regardless of risk, should be practicing uh, good hand hygiene, social distancing, and, and wearing masks where appropriate, number one, because even if you're healthy, or uh, you can still transmit the virus.